A racing driver has roared his way to the top by honing his skills at the wheel of a computer. Hmm. Duncan Gray couldn't afford the practice sessions on a real track, so he switched to the video version instead. Alison McKenzie joined him at his PC pit stop. Duncan Gray has learned to be a motor racing champ from the comfort of his living room at his home at Worksop in Nottinghamshire. Video games, he says, have taught him the tricks of the track and how to win. The cars are so expensive to, uh, to run round in for general practice that I found that to, to learn the circuits and the corners and which, way, you know, which corner comes up left or right and approaching at 150 miles an hour, that these, uh, these video games are absolutely excellent for that. So good, in fact, that they've helped Duncan to soar to success at some of the top racetracks in the country. He's now the best at Formula 3000 in Europe. It's a nice way to finish the season, yeah, with another class win, and uh, we didn't do too bad, I don't think, for the season. Maybe you'll see him in Formula 1 next year. Who would have thought that his expert knowledge of the tracks comes from a household video game? Each week he spends up to 20 hours at the console, learning every curve and every bend. It actually is very, very good for reflexes. Um, and like I say, it's, it, it just keeps you in line with uh, the corners and the curving, etc. And uh, lots of blind corners and uh, it's so easy to forget actually what's coming next. Um, and I find it's very good. Never afraid to accept a dangerous assignment on Central News, I'm now going to tackle Brands Hatch. There we go. This is Alison Schumacher for Central News that works off in Nottinghamshire. Mm. Yes, she would be Schumacher. Did you see that fiendish grin, that unsportsmanlike control yeah. of the wheel? Not as gentlemanly as Damon Hill. No. That lovely Damon no. Hill. Anyway, enough of that.